Welcome back to the West Coast for episode 8 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. More contracting missions have been done. I have a worker cultivating on field 15. Doing a bang up job. I did the bits around the telegraph pole this side. I haven't done over there yet, so we'll see what happens when the worker gets there. Um, there's something I need to sell, something I need to purchase in this episode I'm going to go to field 10 I believe it is yeah field 10 which is just above the farm which has got oilseed rape canola um, in it that's going to be harvested the problem is the yields not going to be great it hasn't been ploughed it's got no fertilizing states on it so I want to fertilize it I'm going to give it a spray before um, I harvest it which should give me a little bit better yield on it that's the theory. I'm going to leave him getting on with that. I've borrowed uh, Farmer Kinnon's New Holland with his newfangled um, security measures in his tractors, which he's now installing into mine. Um, yeah, he's actually, you can program the voice recognition software apparently, um, and it recognises my voice. I think all the farmers actually in the cooperative so that we can all borrow each other's vehicles which is kind of handy so this is my spraying equipment which I prefer to use uh, when I'm spraying a crop that's already kind of established I generally speaking will put the solid fertilizer pellets down after I've ploughed a field or before seeding. It depends really because I might slurry a field, I might manure spread a field. Um, if I do either of those then I won't put the fertilizer pellets down. Um, it all just all depends. This I'm going to sell, the Amazon equipment. And there's a reason for that which will become apparent. I think the best way to go. Go up the yard this way I think. I think my uh, the Sammy's been used quite a bit actually for a few different jobs. That's going to need some uh, fuel in it. Field ten. Actually, is this one just opposite? Yeah, so that'll be harvested. Uh, the oilseed rate will go down to the pig farm. Depends how much I get. Some will go down to the pig farm to feed the pigs for um, for James. And then hopefully, if we've got some left, we can sell some. Uh, we'll see how much we get off it. I don't think the yield's going to be that great, but it's just one of those things. Um, now, obviously people will also comment that because I ploughed field 15, you don't need to cultivate it, you can seed straight onto it, that kind of thing. Again, I totally get that. I really, really do. But it just, it's kind of, it's what would be done. It's part of, you know, like I say, I'm, I've, I've repeatedly said I'm, I'm not doing a realistic farming series. This is not everything exactly how it should be. But I want to add an element of realism, kind of what people, what farmers would do. And sometimes I get it wrong. I do, you know. It's what I assume should be a certain way or I've read up on. And some people come and say, no, it doesn't happen where I live. And it might not do. Um, I suppose different farmers in different areas do it different ways. I, I really couldn't say for definite. But let's get this sold, see what we get for it. Still haven't sold the um, the header for the Rostal mash. 
really should do, but haven't got the heart to sell it. I feel terrible. Right, let's drop both of these off. Drop that down. And disconnect it. Drop the front tank off. I think these combined give you a... Uh, right lower, just drops onto its wheels. I'm trying to think, what does that give you? Let's part this up. Right, those two combined, let's have a quick look in spraying equipment. That's 1,000 litres, that's 1,000, so 2,200 litres combined. Okay, so, let's sell that and see what we get. 21,000, that's not bad. And then, another four, so that's 25,000, is that 26,000 on top? Yeah, about 26 grand not bad at all so here's what we're gonna do this was a new mod out and I quite like it it's not everyone's cup of tea They've all, I've already had people saying they, they loathe it I don't know what it is about it it's got a certain charm that I quite like the lizard 11440 um, this is by um, full power shift um, if you didn't watch my I did a kind of mod stravaganza uh, a multiple mod review guide to with a few different new mods out now I'm gonna go for I'm not gonna go massive because the fields aren't some fields are but I need to allow for fields that are smaller I'm not gonna go for the small I'm gonna go for 28 I think I've just made 25 grand selling that equipment and this is 22 780 now I am going to have it with narrow tyres as well because I want it to be able to go over crops that are already established which takes me to 23.380 so if you didn't see what's happened there that's better so if you didn't see that mod review guide to this is not a new machine it's an old machine and you can get it with narrow tyres, standards and wides. The wides, it looks phenomenal, but it will destroy the crops. So the reason it's quite cheap is because it's old. It's been reconditioned. Got the lizard logo somewhere. Where was that on it? Just there behind the pipes. You can see it. There you go. Um, so let's jump in under there. It's quite quiet. This thing's got a few tricks up its sleeve. I like the all-wheel steer. Phenomenal. Um, it's not the fastest thing ever, 17 miles an hour. But we've got a self-propelled sprayer. You're normally looking at 250,000 and upwards, I think, for the various different ones in-game. I just paid 23, I think, for this. So that's brilliant. Uh, the tank size is about 3,250, so it's going to give me larger tank capacity than what I already have with the, the, the actual three-point link attached spraying and equipment. Plus, I don't need the tractor as well to do it. I can come and grab this whenever I need to. So it kind of... I don't know, I like it. I'm sure I'm going to get loads of people hitting that dislike button, the thumbs down. So be it. It's not everyone's cup of tea. I hope this gets under here actually, that's quite high that front bit. That's all. Actually I'm going to put the beacons on. Um, yeah, so I'm going to fill this up. We're going to fill 10, give it a bit of a spray, then we'll harvest the, the uh, oil seed rape from it. Now something that was mentioned to me by Barris uh, was that he bought one and used it on one of his maps. And I think because I've got you got ground response on, the reaction to the ground response Apparently it made him feel sick. <laughs> it bounces around quite a lot. But I suppose realistically a vehicle like this wouldn't it hasn't got phenomenal suspension. And realistically, if you're going over kind of ploughed fields or fields that are rutted or anything at all, it's gonna bounce around a bit. It is it will do. And I think that's part of that kind of I like that. It's nice to see the suspension doing its work or you know the flex in the tires and all that kind of thing, but anyway. I digress. Uh, we'll get there, we'll fill it up, and then we'll get it used. Nice bit of kit.
can see it bouncing around already on some of the bits. Now where I actually fill this up is going to be something of a mystery at the moment. Let's turn those beacons off, don't leave those on. So... I think... Fertilisers and seeds... Fertiliser... are here. I think... Although that says H2O tank, on one of the maps someone said to me that is the liquid fertiliser. Then I have been told... Oh, hang on, yeah, we've got seed... Oh, these two drums here. Ah, right, okay. Right, let's see. It is filling up. It's costing a bit of money, but that's not too bad. I did a write of the contract in, as you saw at the start, a um, couple of little clips of how much I made and a couple of little snapshots of the fantastic scenery. Okay, 3,250 litres. Let's get over there. Right. I like the fact as well this mod comes with um, four different options on boom width, all up to 34 metres, I mean that's huge. Right, I'm going to stop there and jump out just in case something comes up the lane, I don't want to block it. Let's open that up. Right. Let's open this up. Now I struggled with this on the mod review. It will sit to about there, which I can operate it like that, which I might well do. If I now press L1 and circle, it kind of lowers it into position. Now you can adjust it up and down, which I'm, I'm, oh, I don't know whether to I should or not, because you can tilt it either way, like so. You see that? Let's get a better angle. You can tilt one side, the other side, all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to lift that up as high as it will go. Right. Let's get spraying. Right, it says helper A has completed their task, so I think, let's get the cruise control on this, I think that's on uh, field 15, I assume. Spin that around. I just think, yeah, the 28 metre one is a nice enough width, it's bigger, the sprayer I have is only a 15, so the 28 uh, is going to make a big difference. 24 on some of these bigger fields might have taken quite a while, I just think the 34, I, don't know, I suppose it wouldn't have been too big, but... It wasn't like it, it was that much more expensive, and it may be a couple of thousand more. So you can see it's bouncing around a little bit in the field. I don't think that's too bad. I would imagine over a ploughed field it's going to be a lot worse, but then it would be over a ploughed field. I suppose because of my golden days of farming and the old tractors and that kind of thing. I like this. It's got. I don't know. I, I really. I can't explain it. Oh, over the footpath. Give the footpath a bit of a spray. Oh, it's gold nugget there. Let's clear that later. Oh, stop there. I know people don't always agree with the uh, kind of going around the outside and then doing the inside. It's just kind of the way I've always done it. I know it would generally be done up and down a field, it's much easier to keep track of where you've been and where you haven't. It's hard to see through this crop where I've been and where I haven't, so it's going to be a case of kind of gauging it by eye. Spin that round. 
beauty of being this close to the farm as well. If I run out of spray, I can always push back and get some more. There is a new mod that came out. Um, it's a new tank that goes on the Holmer pack, um, and I think it's, it takes liquid fertilizer, so you can refill vehicles. Um, I didn't really do a mod review on it because that it's a tank. There's not a lot I can do about that. Um, I think you can get it in Amazon orange and coon, I think, colours. Um, but yeah, that's that was new out. Um, nice bit of kit, a clever idea. I haven't got the Holmer pack in, on this map. Well, I say I have. I've got it installed. I haven't bought anything from the Holmer pack. I'm hopefully going to get away with just... Uh, I have to be very careful how I choose my words. Say normal machinery. Say normal. What's normal about it? Now, I will check my drone mapping. Stick with it, people. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> let's have a quick look on the drone map. Soil composition. Let's turn that off. Zoom in on field 10. We should be able to see. There we go. Oh, that's not too bad at all. That's quite tidy. One strip up that way, one strip back, and we should be done, I think, on that. At least I'll get one fertilising state before harvesting. If we zoom back out, you can see 15 I've been working on. 16 is interesting because I haven't done anything on that. There's no contract available on that. Oh, and while I'm talking about contracts, actually, yes. Um, I went round all the fields looking for all of the fields that have the mission available sticker on the sign. Now, I'm assuming this is the same for everybody. Um, I'm going to list them. Um, I'll put like an arrow to them on the map now, um, kind of in uh, numerical order. Um, the first one available is field 35, as you can see I've done some contracts on that. So field 35, then we've got field 48, which is there, as you can see, I've done some contracts on it. Uh, field 52, which is, where's 52, there, again, done some contracting. Field 55, there. Field 62, which is there. Field 77, which is there. And field 87, which is, where's 87? This little strip here. And then field 89, which is this one up here. So interestingly, at the moment, we've got 76 and 77 are both showing, oh no, 77, I've done, sorry, 76 and 16 are both showing as fertilised and I haven't done anything on those fields, I don't own them and there are no contracts available so I'm assuming that's just part of the uh, the kind of AI cycle it runs through anyway, I don't know if that's helpful to anyone the, the fact that you know those, those are the ones that are available on mine and it, I think it did say there are more missions coming soon so I don't think there's going to be another update and some more of the fields will become available what I'm also going to test at some point is whether or not grass pastures that are not owned by you, in the past, you, you've got away with being able to mow them and ted them and use the grass, although you don't own them. Um, you're kind of doing a job. You're helping them out. You're keeping their pasture, you know, however you want to justify it in your head. I don't know. I'll try that at some point. Um, right, so... Let's restart. So now, I need to kind of come in a little bit, the kind of width of the sprayer, which is going to be hard to do. Try and gauge it from the edge of the field. Try, try kind of follow that field edge to the left, if I can. It's going to be almost impossible, isn't it? I think had I used the 34 metre one, I probably could have done this in a couple of passes actually, but never mind. We will get there. Let's have another look. 
Hey, that wasn't so bad. Not bad at all. Right, turn that on. Any little bits I miss, I can always swing back around. And we should... Should be almost done. Right, let's stop there. Another check in on the map. Missed a tiny strip. If I just turn around and do that now, pretty much on my axis, about there. Run down the middle of the field and we should be okay. When you consider the size of the field, it really hasn't used much spray at all in that tank. Like I've said before, on FS15, the sprayer tanks used to just empty so quickly. Perfect. that, I believe, should be it. Which means we can get in here and get some um, harvesting done now. We'll get a slightly better yield, which is perfect. Let's fold that up. On our way back. I like this. Love it or hate it. Does the job. Doesn't get through the spray too quickly gonna make life a lot easier I'm assuming I haven't tried it yet that I'll be able to set a worker which will also make life quite straightforward a bit of wobble there as it should be well actually I'll leave that gut open because I need to get in there with the harvester don't I Silly me. Right, let's find somewhere to park this up, shall we? And this will now be available to anyone in the cooperative. So all of the six farms will be able to use this. And I'll be more than happy to lend it out. Actually, I think what I'll do is stick it in here for the time being. Should go under. like it was built for it. Perfect. I like that. Very nice indeed. Right, I need to get down to field 15 now. Check out the situation with the cultivating, because it said it was done. If it is, brilliant, but I think there's going to be bits around the, uh, the telegraph pole, this one. There we go, look. That's not bad, that's all it missed. Did everything else around it, that's pretty good. Brilliant, that's good, that's ready for seeding now. That's field 15, ready for seeding. I should have put a front weight on that. I just suddenly realised. Now, does this have to be open to be put down, or can it be put down like this? Let's see, shall we? Oh no, I'll put it down like that. Brilliant. Right, so I get the harvester. Uh, right, yeah, that's it. That's next harvesting. Going through the list of jobs in my mind. It's going to be washing again. Okay, while I'm grabbing the harvester, um, 
I don't often do shout outs. I don't, you know, I've said before I'll do shout outs if people have helped me out. Um, ideas, advice, tips, all those kind of things. I get a lot of regular commenters and those people get mentioned quite a lot. Uh, a lot of the characters for the farm that we're in at the moment are from regular and long standing subscribers, commenters, which is what I try and do, add them into the game. <coughs> There's a couple I want to say uh, while I'm just taking the harvester out. Um, one is to Gavin. Um, when I got the water in the last episode, he messaged me to say that if you go to field 17, you can get down to the river a lot easier um, than, than going on the footpath and doing stuff kind of illegally. Um, which, you know, that makes perfect sense. I'm trying to think where I'm going to be able to put this. I'll tell you what I do need. I need that new header, don't I? The Rostal Mash header. That would be a lot easier. Um, yeah, so thank you, Gavin, for that. I will be doing that next time I need water. Um, but one in particular I want to mention today is Lucas. Lucas, if you're watching and you're out there, keep on keeping on, bud. He knows why, and I'm not going to go into lots of detail. Needless to say, Lucas, I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. Um, I know I'm a bit zany here and there, and the odd weird thing comes out of my mouth. <laughs> if it makes you smile, fantastic. I'm very happy. Um, I know it can be a bit peculiar at times, to say the least. Um, I also... Um, I mentioned in the last episode when I went for that walk back to the farm and I went across the bridge and said about playing poo sticks. It didn't even dawn on me that people wouldn't know what that meant. Um, some people commented saying it reminded them of being a kid, it reminded them of, you know, all sorts of things and it brought back happy memories. And I'm glad, you know, it did when I said it. It was one of those weird things I just kind of randomly came out with and thought, you know. But if you don't know, if you have no idea, it's from Winnie the Pooh um, and Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore and Tigger and whatever would sit on a bridge and you drop a stick in one side of the bridge upstream and then you run to the other side of the bridge and whoever stick comes out the other side first is the winner that's poo sticks that's pretty much it um yeah i just kind of said it without thinking but there you go that's what it is so if it made you smile i'm glad i know what i'm going to do middle of harvesting probably not the done thing but I'm not passing up a gold nugget blimey it's right there, on the ground. I'm still blown away. I love I love the footpaths. I, I just, like I said before, on Cobra Park Farm when Bullet Bill had done it, and I, I remember commenting, I love that. It's such a nice touch. It doesn't need to be there. You know, he could have left all the footpaths out, and this would still be a phenomenal map. But that's what makes it. That's what adds those differences that makes it stand apart that realism, that realistic feel to it, you know yeah, you don't need them on there, of course you don't but, wow the yield isn't wonderful but then I kind of knew it wasn't going to be it was never going to be huge what I am curious Yes. Let's have a quick look on the map. Yeah, it's at an angle. I was kind of hoping that I could set a worker, but I think if I set a worker, it's going to go. It'll end up setting it diagonally because I think kind of towards the lighthouse. I can just see it through the trees. Then. Come on, over there is kind of the, the uh, east-west line. So I'm kind of going at a diagonal at the moment. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know if it works. Let me just try it, let's set work and see which direction it goes. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to leave this running for a little bit, and I'll see you when we've done a bit more.
the harvester has stopped for a second time and the yield has actually been better than I thought it was going to be considering it's going to be incredibly low it needs ploughing and it needs three fertiliser states it hasn't been bad but it is a fair sized field I think what I'll do, I'll fill the trailer, hopefully I'll fill the trailer, I shouldn't be far off, whatever I get out of this field I'm going to take down to the pigs, I'm going to take down to Stonehill Farm, and that will go to the pigs, anyway, because they can't have too much can they, it will be down there and they can use it whenever they need to, and then the next reuse of this field, whatever crops I'll turn it off for whatever crops I get will be for um, for selling that's the plan the barley field which is filled I'll get it in a minute 12 is it I think so um, no 14 that one I will sell all of because I don't need the barley but again the yields not gonna be great so I'll get over there and I'll spray that field as well um, with my new sprayer at least it improves the yield a little bit but we still need to do grass, uh, hay even I need to do hay um, I also need to get over to Clifftop Farm 12 man Fraser Fraser get it wrong every time Fraser, not Fraser Fraser um, and have a look at that Massey that's in the trees see if we might be able to get that fixed because that would be a useful addition I think And so we end another episode down at Stonehill Farm. We seem to spend a lot of the ends of episodes down here. What I'm going to do, we've got 20,000, just over 20,000 litres of canola. Oh, is that it? Let's just have a quick check. Well, that went quick. So, pigs, we have now got uh, water, straw, wheat we put in, canola we've put in, potatoes and sugar beet. We need some potatoes and sugar beet. Ah, and corn. Okay, we need to sort those out. Uh, the sheep need cleaning out. Look at the state of that. And, yeah, cleanliness of the cows is pretty appalling too. They need power food and silage and hay, which means I do need to get a move on with hay. So, a bit of cleaning out and some hay making I think probably for the next episode I'm going to go and put this into storage so it's down here whenever James needs it where's the latch and we've come to the end of another episode I hope you've enjoyed it new bit of machinery another field harvested a bit more feed for the pigs if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.